how to create a Shopify landing page on PageFly. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with building your own PageFly landing page in Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of you might ask the question, hey, I have my landing page on Shopify as it is. I don't want to change it. Well, there are a few reasons why some people consider changing. First off is that Shopify templates or themes on Shopify can all start to look very similar. They follow a very similar format and they can start looking, you know, boring. So that is one of the major reasons why you might consider in upgrading to PageFly and using PageFly instead. It allows you a lot of customizable templates, they have unique looks, and it can really provide your customers with a more uh, customized experience on your Shopify store. Now, plus another great thing about this is that PageFly allows you to create one page for free. So if you just want one singular landing page for your Shopify store for maybe like a new product that you're launching or anything. So if you have like one item that you want a landing page for, you can do it absolutely for free and you can try it out for free as well. So moving on, we're going to get started with building our landing page. So you're going to go into the Shopify dashboard of your store. Then you are going to click on settings. Once you click on settings, you want to click on apps and sales channels on the bottom left. Then you want to click on Shopify app store. Once you click on Shopify app store, you just want to search for PageFly. Now, once you search for PageFly, this is the first application it will pop up. It's by the developer of PageFly. So this is like the original one. You want to click on add application. Once you click on add application, you just have to allow permission. So we're just going to install our application. It only takes a couple of seconds. And just like that, I have been logged on to my PageFly account. Now, if you don't have an account already, it will just ask you to link your Shopify store and sign in via email. It's a very basic sign up process. Now, after this, this will be your dashboard. So from your dashboard, what you want to do now is click on pages over here. And what are we looking to create? Well, we're looking to create a landing page. Now, landing pages that are focusing on a call to action of one specific item. So the homepage that I've currently built, just to show you guys, this is my store. It's kind of formatted like a landing page. It's all about one product. And like a landing page is a page that focuses on serving one purpose. So your landing page might be to get more subscribers on your newsletter or to get more uh, people to purchase a certain product or to uh, get more people to purchase a certain bundle. So a landing page needs to have a very clearly defined purpose. Once you know that, you can go into your pages section, click on regular pages, and you can choose to create from blank, but I like to use a template to get started with PageFly simply because they have such amazing and customizable templates and they really help you out in setting up your page. So just click on create from a blank template. Then on the left side, you have your categories. So we are looking to build landing page. I'm going to select that. And now it's showing me all of the different templates that are available for landing pages on their platform. So they have quite a few different picks that you can choose from and you can customize these a lot. So don't worry about that. Now we have spring sale templates. We have cookie Easter. We have uh, a Mother's Day sale, Valentine's Day sale, Lunar New Year celebration, Black Friday, Ollie's Singles Day, you know, Black Friday sales. There are a bunch of different ones to go on from Halloween templates, Thanksgiving, Father's Day. Now, I think I'm going to go with a Black Friday one just to show you guys. Uh, this one looks very nice. So I'm going to click on preview and this is like the preview. And now I can click on select this template. And now I have a editor. Now to add any new section, new element into your uh, template or preview, you will click on the left side of your screen and you can add elements, basic layout elements. You have Shopify elements and you also have third party elements you can add. And to change the content of any elements, you will click on the content and on the right side of your screen, you will get all the information about the content. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to change the background image or color. I don't want this image. So you guys can see, uh, I'm going to click on the entire item and I'm just going to minimize the content rows visibility. So I'm going to go into styling over here on the top right. 
Then you have your content color, spacing, and I'm going to scroll down and you have your background. So it's a standard video, a standard image. You can also add videos or parallax as well. So maybe I want to add a video. I'm going to go on to YouTube. So I'm just using this as a reference video because I want to maybe show people how Black Friday sales are so crowded uh, in real life. It's kind of like subliminal messaging I'm trying to put out. Now, once I've done this, all I have to do is now I want the text to appear a little more clearly. So I'm going to select the text section, like the overlay of the text. And you can just select your rows. You're going to go into styling and you can click on the row. You have your column spacing as well. So I can just go on ahead and I can click on action, attributes and go into the styling of the column. And I will just go on the typography background. So I have my background and I will select a background color and you can select a background image as well in your styling. But I will click on opacity and I will make it slightly opaque like that. So now I have this and we can add shadows as well if we want, like so. And you can add the shadow effect to any direction. Now, I think I'm going to remove maybe the color. If you want, you can make, you know, remove the color like this as well. And you can just select a background image instead if you want to do that. I don't want to, I want this. Maybe I'm going to give it like a black shadow and I'm going to select my typography first. And now I'm going to go back into general and the November holiday sale is up. I think I'm going to leave all these buttons as they are. And now I have my product selection. So from here, I don't want any of these items. I'm going to leave like this section, but I'm going to link my own product. So I'm going to click on add elements on the top left and I'm going to click on add Shopify element and I can just add my own product list. Just drag and drop it right over here. And then you can, you know, um, link your own Shopify products. I only have one product on my Shopify page, so it's only one product. Then you have our subscribers, public customers, and you can add more details or more discounts, whatever you are providing on over here. And then just provide more details. Once you have done that, you are just going to click on save and you are just going to name your landing page and you will save the page. It takes a couple of seconds to save up your page. This is what our page is looking like. We're just going to wait. And the video is currently unavailable in my country, but like so. And our page has been saved. Now, once your page is saved, you wanna go back into your page fly menu. And on your saved page, it is going to be unpublished. So you want to publish this page by clicking on these three dots on the right and click on publish. And once you click on publish, it will publish your page. Then you want to go back into your Shopify dashboard, click on online store, click on navigation, and you need to actually add this landing page to your navigation menu uh, in your Shopify store. And once you do that, this will be completed. And now you have a amazing landing page with PageFly on your Shopify store. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.